So we're ready for the vacuum filtration. Again, always make sure that whatever size filter paper you use completely covers the holes but doesn't creep up the sides. Here's our sample that we've just cooled down to five degrees and you can see we've got solid there. So I'm gonna turn um, with the filter paper with some water first. And then turn on the faucet. Hose is already hooked up. cold water that I'm going to use to wash. I'm going to pour some into the flask and try to get as much out as possible. I think that's about as good as we can get. I'm just going to let that suck dry for a few minutes and then what we'll do is we'll take the contents, put on some larger pieces of filter paper, squeeze it, get out the excess moisture and get away to the melting point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the vacuum. Remember always to unplug or remove the tubing first. You can see, looks like we got a fair amount of product there. Due to the large amount and the size of filter paper that we have, I'm going to kind of dry this in sections, if you will. And the only thing I'm trying to do is just to get rid of as much of that moisture as possible. these two different sections together and then uh, give you the weight and then the melting point. 